Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, we got to plant or sow or drill, whatever people may want to call it. Some sugar beet. But we need some seeds and I'm not sure how many we have, so... Guess we'll have a look here and find out. Hundred and sixty six. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna need another bag. Another bag of seeds. Um Might move the Ute forward a bit. should do should work for us I might have sit this little bag in the actual ute bed a little bit of lag and we'll head to the shop and we'll grab another bag I guess Might just leave the Massey here. And get, and get rid of this one. What was that? Get ready for some more lag. Why? Why? Well, the lag was me buying a trailer, I'm now about to buy a ute. Oh, what sort of ute are you buying? A ram. Same one as mine or the flat tray one? I haven't got enough for the flat tray one. I would have thought the flat tray one would have been cheaper. It probably should be, because it's older. It, oh, I've got enough for it, but it only leaves me four grand. Yeah. With uh, 19, it's only 30. Leaves you with 30, or it only costs 30? Only costs 30. How much does the other one cost? 54. Oh. Yeah, the prices should be the other way. Are you buying a service trailer as well? Yep. I've got plenty of fertilizer. I just need some... some seeds. Hey Dan, what are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, gone with the black ram. Nice. Of course. My favourite colour. Alright, I'm driving this thing, I guess. Why? Well, of course, it puts my bag of seeds literally in between everything. <laughs> We'll be there in a minute. No, it's not in the way I can get to it, but like it just out of all the places it goes right in the middle. Jeremy, welcome to the stream. Um I hear a car starting up. Better not hit Vash's brand new Ute. He might hit us back or something. One bag of seed should do us. I don't see why it wouldn't. I believe that is all we need from the shop as well. Shop can have their tractor back. 
I'm looking at your ute and I'm thinking, I remember my days when mine was nice and clean and shiny. <laughs> She's a bit of a mess at the moment, mine is. Just a little bit dirty. Well, it doesn't really help that it's white. <laughs> then again, black gets dirty as well. Yeah, it, for dirtiness, you want a color other than black. No, I don't find it so much that it gets dirty. I find it when you wash it that, you, and then you leave it sit and it dries all out, and then you find all these marks where you missed or something. Is normally what happens with black cars. Yeah. Why? Well, as soon as it gets dirty, you notice it. Yeah. Especially dust on it. Yeah, which is annoying for me because we get a dust storm th about every day and I've got a white car. You have a white one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just started pouring, I think. Yep. I'm trying to decide which paddock to do the sugar beets in. Someone subscribed? Yeah, it was a YouTube subscription. Well, yeah. And I don't know if you'd call them a subscription. Someone just subbed. I guess that's a subscription, I guess. No, yeah, it is a YouTube subscription. It's just that... YouTube subscription is different than a Twitch subscription. It's very different. It's like 10% of a subscription compared to a Twitch one. Um, If we leave that there, I want to undo that. Let me undo it while I. Oh. Uh, how was my week? Um, it's a good question, Dan. I I don't really have an answer for it. Tiring. We'll go with that. It wasn't too bad though. Today wasn't a bad day at all. Nothing exciting happened. Nothing out of the normal though either. It's just a very average week. If we sit that there, we should be able to... Sounds like I need to get some fireworks. Uh, maybe. Obviously you can't open this one. Turn on solar. Fold solar. Maybe it'll do something when we go near it. With the bag. Do we have workshop tabby? Yep. What the fuck? Was it not working? Not with the service trailer. I know it's been working definitely in my workshop that's in the shed, but I haven't tried the trailer. This might have to be one of these ones where we put it beside it and just do the 
the unlegit refill. I guess. I can't get it high enough. No, I got it high enough. It just didn't do nothing. And when I have it connected and press N, it doesn't take the cover off the top or anything. Unless it needs to be folded. It shouldn't have to be there. No, just doesn't open. I know that this particular one has an option to put a one on the front, like a tank on the front. But it also has a 600 litre option just like that, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, I thought one was fertiliser, the other one was seed. No, it's a seed. The $29,000 one has a, um, a fertilizer option. Okay. I don't know if I should put this on the f back of the John Deere or the Massey. Not too sure. I'm still debating which paddock I want to do for sugar beet. I don't know whether to do paddock 7, which is pretty small, or go down to paddock... Paddock 7 or paddock... 23. 23 is a lot bigger though. I suggest the bigger one. You reckon the bigger one? Yeah, it's simply because of how much it is a pain and how much money you get for it. I didn't even look to see how much you get for sugar beet. Two hundred and seventy seven dollars. Uh, so that's actually a lot. Yeah. So you sort of want it in large quantities. Yeah. Might take the front end loader off. Because I think we're going to have to put a weight on anyway. She's sitting down in the back end a bit. And she's a bit floaty. King, thanks for the host, buddy. I'll go for the bigger weight. Alright, we'll go with paddock 23 then. We'll take Vash's suggestion. No one else said anything, so we'll go with it. Well, say so I'd like to say the other one, but it wouldn't be worth planting it in there. That's the only issue. No, my reason why I was thinking of that one was because I haven't done them before. I was just debating whether to start off on a small paddock and, you know... Yeah. Oh, I know you're thinking, but you'd probably get $4,000 for the whole pack. Yeah. 
That's why he means Paddock's doing okay. To be honest, I was thinking of 23 anyway, I just wasn't sure which one. Oh, I might actually have to lime this first. I didn't even look to check. Uh, 23? Yeah, I'll have a look when I'm just pulling into the gateway now. I guess I'll have a look at the soil really quick. Yep, it needs lime. Yep, it does. I, see, I should, should have brought lime when I was at the shop about 10 minutes ago. Alright, that's going to be a job for the Massey, I think. Steep over the back. Yeah, she's a steep paddock, this one as well. That's another thing to consider. It should be right, though. Um... We need my Massey fur to see. I don't think I have any bags of lime anyway. That's a fertilizer bag over there. Yeah. Pretty... Better not roll your tractor. I hope not. We don't want to roll nothing, Jeremy. Alright, we'll race up to the shop and we'll get some lime. Are you doing anything at the moment, Vash? Uh, just about the player? Why? Uh, would you be able to just bring your ute down to the shop so I can load a pallet on there? Yep, I can do that. Just give me two seconds. Thanks, otherwise I have to go back up to the house to grab my ute and drive down here. I'm just thinking I can kill kind of two birds with one stone here. Are you going to bail that paddock there near the shop? Would you like it? No, I just was wondering if you are going to bail it. Uh, not bail it, I was going to collect it and just put it in storage. Yeah. No, I was just curious what you were going to do with it. Um... There'll be no rolling of tractors though, Jeremy, okay? We don't want that. Um, some lime. Probably should use that case over there actually. This will probably send the Massey flying. Well, I'm on my way. Yeah, we're gonna need the case for that one, I think. We're not using the telehandler, Jeremy. That bag of lime would flip it. The telehandler can only just handle one of the bags of the smaller ones, let alone two. Yeah, I just don't have any faith in that tele in that telehandler. It's just not for me. It'd be alright if it had more weight on the back. This, this case struggles to pick up this bag and it has wheel weights in them and the biggest weight in the game on it. <laughs> if I reverse back, you might be able to just back up to me because I don't want to turn too much with this thing. Because once I, these bags start swinging there, they're hard to stop. Oh, she's, she's lifting. 
this what five ton yeah that's that bag. yeah it's a five ton bag oh I need to go up uh, you might be good there now uh, looking at the side I know is like only half under it stop hating on it we're not hating on it we're just giving our opinion that we don't like the telehandler Oh, I love the tunnelly hander, I just... for the appropriate jobs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a telly handler fan. In my stream, if you looked at the front tyres on that case, they were fully into the ground. Like, she was pretty flat with that bag on there. She did not like it. Thanks for picking that up, Vash. No worries. You won't fit two, so I'll, I'll carry a small bag. That'll give me 7,000 <laughs> litres at least. Yeah, that one fills up my back completely. I don't even think it would fit two of these anyway. Even without the toolbox, it would. Yeah. See, even this 2,000 litre bag's lifting me wheel up every now and again. Go past Jeremy's egg. Yeah, Jeremy, you need to get on here and pick up your eggs. Look at that. Someone's either run them over or pushed them over there because they were fully on the road earlier. Oh, that's bouncy. Did you push it over to the side of the road, did you? I didn't. No. Oh. Yeah, well, someone must have hit Brandon, might have hit it, I don't know. It was further on the road earlier, I thought. Oh no, it definitely was further on the road. It was in the middle of the lane. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed it on there this morning before I went to work. Oh. Speaking of. Speaking of Jeremy. He's stream sniping. Hashtag banned. <laughs> Well, technically, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you and I... Oh, yeah, okay. That's, no, that's a good point. I was going to try and get you out of it, but I can't. That's how I can answer questions with you just talking in a stream. Um... I might actually no. I can just take the weight off the um, John Deere. So I might we might have said straight down to paddock twenty three. Bash. Do you want to follow me, or you know where you're going? No idea. I'll follow you. Sorry if I scratched you. I think there's enough room there. Nah, you're good. Oh, that's up on the front wheels. That was a little scary. All right, King, have a good night, buddy. Next time I go to the shop to get bags, make sure you take a weight. Yeah, you're going to have to take a what? get a weight to get this one off. Yeah, the John Deere down here in the paddock has a weight on it, so I'll just take that off there for now. Just to get that off anyway. Oh, hang on. Don't come down. If you keep going down there, I'll go, I've got to grab the fertiliser spreader anyway. I didn't even think about that. Thank you. We're just going to reverse all the way up the farm here. I'm trying to think where the spreader even is, actually. 
think it's up here in the shed. Well, I can say the ram definitely knows it's got half a ton in the back. Oh, does so it? Five ton in the back. Yeah, it didn't want to stop. <laughs> it doesn't even want to stop when it's got nothing in it. Mine anyway. It's only going 60 and not overrun the entrance to the field by, I don't know, at least half a K. as well put the uh, lime into the spreader and then I actually have to carry this bag on the front need to fix that a bit of terrain All right. I'm just gonna sit here on in the road with my lights on and I'll be are you gonna stream Contemplating, but it's noisy. I hear you. I shouldn't actually need to put the weight onto this because the um, spreader and the two ton that are in it should be enough to hold it. Down. I'm just coming down the hill now. Oh, I put that on side on, didn't I? It looks like the kids are going to bed in about half an hour, so probably about 45 when it starts raining. I'm not. Do you want to just reverse up a little bit? Oh, nice, King. I love how I can hear your indicators going. Jeez, that's still lifting me. The worst thing about these five ton bags is once they start swinging they don't stop. That was some three-wheel driving. How is that still lifting it? Might have found the balance point. <laughs> she definitely ain't balancing. Let's go and see how my employee is going. Hmm. 
This will be interesting. Well, indeed. I'm sure he's doing fabulous. Yeah. I think this shoots like. As long as he doesn't do what they have been doing with the combine, it's oh. <laughs> I'm sure he's been well behaved. Uh huh. Straddling fences and running into fences and trees. <laughs> All the normal stuff. Yeah. Oh, I am definitely going to need another bag of lime. Don't mind, mate. I'm just taking a shortcut through your farm. Hey. Yeah. Good. I'm not up there to see it anyway, so it's all good. Well, it's not like I'm going through paddocks either. I'm actually... You're just going through my laneway and stuff. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah. This actual bag might do it. I don't know. It's going to be tight. It's going to be a close one. The good thing about liming is, you know, once it's done, it's done for a few, you know, a few harvests. Then you don't have to do it again. Okay. I have got no idea what this worker did, but he didn't do any work and he got the tractor stuck. <laughs> on the other side of the field. Didn't do any work at all. Nothing. That, um... Those two bags actually did do the whole paddock, surprisingly. Mind you, this thing shoots about... 24 meters or 20 meters or something. Sounds like typical AI. It sure does. Sounds like Bash is having the time of his life up there. Now it's time to start the sewing.
Is Jeremy still on the server? Yep. It's weird that he didn't join the voice channel. Jeremy, if you're listening to the stream, I haven't put in the egg mod yet either. I forgot about it. Well, I haven't forgotten about it. People are already on the server, actually, is what I should say. People meaning Brandon. Get this bit of the headland done. Yeah, I know. We discussed that yesterday. Out of all the chats, he's doing it in the biggest one. Oh, really, King? The old Johnny's struggling to get up that hill. You ever seen this fish? <laughs> oh, the sideways. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's struggling a bit. Might have to put it on the Massey, I yeah. think. I have seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen this for a long... Might have to put it on the Massey, I'm thinking. Maybe she's struggling. <laughs> Maybe. This only requires 110 horsepower, though. The, tra the John Deere is 160. I'm assuming it's because this bit of the hill, but still. Yeah, I'd say it's more of a terrain rather than a horsepower. But she she's definitely sliding. We'll diff lock it and see if that does anything. Yeah, the one time it happened to me, I just went, okay, diff lock and just keep going. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm holding a flat. <laughs> it's fine now, it just seems to be that bit there. She didn't like that.
No, it's trying to go sideways even going down that hill. I don't know if it's the trap drawer or not. All I know is it doesn't like it. Well, the one I had was a um, cultivator too, so it the tractor was going straight, but the cultivator. Yeah, I've had it with a cultivator before, never with a sewing machine. That was a bit of lag. I bought a pickup truck. Oh, hey, Jeremy. Hello. You did buy a pickup then? Yep. What sort? One with four wheels. Oh, no shit. Wow. Even that gets his front wheels lifted off the ground by the trailer. How heavy is your trailer? It's got two big bags in it. Are they the five ton ones? Mm-hmm. Well, that's probably why it's ten ton. Oh. My quick fix appears to have not worked. I'm going to put it on the Massey and see if the Massey does it. That's better. I think it was just a John Deere issue. Possibly. I suppose we'll see. Yeah, I'm about to struggle the tough bit, so we'll find out. The Massey has more than a hundred more horsepower though than that John Deere. No, it's definitely the John Deere. Well, it's not red, so you should have left it in the shed. So much for it only requiring 110 horsepower. Imagine trying to do that with a 110 horsepower tractor. Would have killed it. Well, it requires 110 horsepower at the PTO. So if you've got a 110 horsepower tractor, you're not going to push out 110 at the PTO. Going up ill, especially. No, but 164 should have been enough. Yeah, it should have been enough. It's just farming sim physics, I guess, though. Which is all good. We have the Massey.
a lot of people think fail fail to remember that the horsepower rating is the PTO horsepower so if you're using something that's 110 and you have 110 horsepower you've got no motor left to move your wheels yeah I drive tractors and I forget that sometimes Might even plant paddock seven as fodder beat. Actually, I tell you what, on that little bit of hill back there, it's starting to try. It's trying to push the massy sideways, but it's not working for it. I think it's just the terrain. Terrain and way the machine. If you had a big cultivator on it, it'd be, it wouldn't be trying it to be. What are you up to at the moment, Jeremy? Putting some hours on one of my horses. I see. I heard a horse. You've gone for a decent ride considering your farm's all the way down the end of the map. New streamer, who it is? Hi, to hell. <coughs> I don't stream all the time, okay? Not anymore, anyway. Hopefully I'll stream a bit this weekend though. Won't I'll be... get that when I get live soon. Hey, you will. Yeah, I haven't streamed in like three months. I won't be streaming OC though, I can't even get on OC as it is. Yeah, I'm gonna do paddock seven as soybean as well. So I'll see. I'll put this um, sower back on the John Deere for that, and I'll see if it does the same thing because that paddock's a lot flatter than this one. We'll see how it copes. Pedals.
Are you riding them to sell them horses, Jeremy, or are you just riding them because they're your pets? Riding them to sell. Yeah. I went and watched the um, fodder beet harvest today. Jeremy. What? The sugar beet harvest. It's just, oh. called, it's just called fodder beet, but anyway. Um, the machine's pretty cool. It's probably my favorite part of the day, seeing something new. Internet is being stupid. Uh, I gotta go back and get that bit, Sahil. The, um, there's like a little hole there in the terrain and it just bounced over it. You know, but at least I farm, unlike you. I've seen him farming before. Oh, uh, he hasn't farmed for a long time, Jeremy. For a long time. You do it immaculately, uh-huh. Is that right? some lime to spread. Because no doubt Paddock 7 needs that as well.
My fucking random ass horse keeps grinding to a halt. Keeps grinding to a halt. Yeah, it just stops moving for a second and then starts again. Could be lag. Because I'm having a bit of lag at the moment where my tractor's just stopping and starting. Oh, yeah. Could be just the horse, though, too. It's farming sim, you wouldn't really know. God, Brandon must have spent a lot of time on here today. Why is that? My crops are all half grown that I planted last night. No, it's been through a night cycle as well. No, oh, Jesus. It has been on most of the day. I think he's been on his single player map though as well. Yeah, all I know he's been on farm sim most of the day. Yeah. When I got up, I noticed it was on. Yeah, most of the time he's on his single Playing player fun. map. Most of the time. I skipped the night this morning because I was on for about 40 minutes before I went to work. Is there any, have you got any lime bash? Nope, I've only got fertilizer. I only need like 200 litres and I don't really want to buy another bag of it. I could just leave that bit undone. Oh, I could just buy a pallet, that's only a thousand litres, I think. Jeremy, why didn't you pick up your mm. pallet of eggs while you're out on your little adventure? <clears throat> well, how the hell do you really think I could have done that? Just throw them. They're on my land now. <laughs> yeah, but they're on my land now. Yeah, so it's you not should go... Minecraft. You can't stick a chest in the horses to give them an inventory. Bash, you should go and you should go and steal the eggs and just go and sell them now. <laughs> You can take the fucking eggs if you want. <laughs> Do me a favour and sell them, because I'll be the one who gets the money. Probably is, I can't pick them up because they're his, but he can't pick them up because they're on my land. I think I still can pick them up. I don't even know where they are, to be honest. They're just on the side of the road me. in the grass near the shed. <sighs> near Paddock. What, one of Bash's paddocks is near. Yeah, near, near the shop. Near... If you come up your hill, Jeremy, turn right, and then they're on the corner there on the left, near the... It's like an old shed. Not not the red um, metal or steel shed, it's the shed that's before that. And the eggs are on the left-hand side, in the grass. Yeah. I'll hire a fucking intern farmhand and make him do it. Do you have workers? No. Does... Is that because none of them will work for you? Because you just treat them like that? No. I'm just making sure. It's because they all get distracted by my good looks so they can't do the oh, job. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
you asked. Fucking good looks my ass. See if it has any issues in Paddock 7. If it does, I've got three lakes down here that you're more than welcome to come and drive it into. Why are we throwing my John Deere in the lake? If I can't even do Paddock 7, there's no point in having it. Why? Well, because. Paddock 7's got a slight heel in it too, so it might not do it. Ah. Silly tractors, anyway. What tractor's silly? Be much better off with a Massey Ferguson. I have a Massey Ferguson. I know you do. I'm just saying you'd be much better off with one. But I've already got one, so why would I be better off with one if I've already got one? There's nothing wrong with the John Deere. She gets the job done. Hmm, that's not always true though, is it? Yep, yeah, it gets the job done. I was watching your stream, you know. In fact, I still am. Yeah, what about it? I quite clearly saw it not get the job done. Well, it was. It was just having some slight issues on the slopes. Traction control. I think it? our opinions of the word slight may differ slightly. <laughs> yeah, we might slightly disagree there. The John Dyer does most things. It just struggles with some. Plus they're slow as shit. Keep in mind that the Massey Ferguson also has 280 horsepower and this John Deere is only 160. Oh, well, there's your biggest problem then. And I should have grabbed seeds while I was back there. Um, can't remember what I was going to say now. Jeez, unless you get the fertilizer on the first growth stage, it's practically impossible to see where you need to fertilize. Yeah. And the John Deere, that's what I was going to say, the John Deere isn't that slow. Yeah, it is. It only goes like 43. Yeah, well, it's not that slow. It's horrific. That's the speed that most tractors go. Not fence. Between 43 and 53 is what most tractors do. Mine goes 63. Yeah, you have like a thousand horsepower tractor though. Oh, don't be silly. It's only about 400. I think it's bigger than 400. No, I can't even remember now. Three hundred and ninety-six. That that one has more options though, then surely, because I'm pretty sure that's normally more horsepower than that. Uh, 
that's the horsepower that my tractor has that I've got. Yeah, but that model has more though, if you wanted it, doesn't it? Maybe. Pretty sure it does. Let's have a look. Yeah, she's still doing a bit of sideways action, not as bad as it was in the other paddock though. I'd be sending it to the wreckers yard if I were you. Nope. Not sending my baby down there. So how's this vehicle workshop tabber thing supposed to work? Go into the workshop and then you press tab. It's not like that in the base game, but never mind. There's a few things that should be in the base game that aren't. More than a few. Not sure if I'm seeding this paddock le legitimately or not, but um, I don't sow in real life, so I don't have a fucking clue. As long as I really need to flock on. Yes. Oh. Where are your gearbox? Not if it's using diff lock, it won't. Doesn't look like the terrain is that steep. That's not that steep. Five left. That's a rip. Will that do me to the end of the row? No. Fick. Fickety fick fick. Bugger. I ran out of seeds.
Imagine if the handle ripped and it fell off and you ran it over. I've had that happen with bales before. Not the whole bale, but enough to make the tractor go bounce. Sometimes the netting doesn't get put on properly or just falls apart. Mm. Weird to think that this time in about a week I'll be leaving for work. <laughs> Get excited. Big busy cities are so good. Does that mean you have to move or, or that's something maybe down the future? Um... No, I don't really think I'll have to move because of the time. Yeah. Because I'm not going to have to deal with any rush hour traffic, so the trip actually takes 25 minutes instead of two hours. And <laughs> the parking is... Actually, the parking is completely free overnight, so I won't even have to pay to park there. Hey, what time do you finish in the morning, though? 9.30 I don't know, parking over here starts at 9 I don't know what time it starts over there Well the park that I park in is free you just can't get parks unless you're there at like 7am oh, okay. obviously I will be because I would have been there since 11pm so yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Oh, Vash is streaming. Yep, I am streaming. Oh, Christ, I've just seated over the top of a goddamn tree stump. Jeremy. Put on YouTube. Jeremy, you need to send me a link to Vash's stream so I can go into his. And then I can stream Snipe as well. <laughs> I've got a link to his stream. <laughs> Sideways again. Jeez, I'm not having any trouble down here with my big proper tractor fiend. <laughs> no, they don't fuck around. You were telling me to get a Massey Ferguson, and now it sounds like you wanted me to get a fent. I don't care what you get. From now on, I think all the sewing will be left up to the Massey. Because Johnny here just can't handle it. Clearly. Well, it's interesting though. I. This only requires 110 horsepower, but my other seater requires 180, yet I can pull that with no issues. So it's a little interesting. Because you would think I'd have more trouble with that. The only place that struggles is actually getting up the hill. I think it also has a lot to do with the type of cedar. Yeah. Yeah, well this probably goes deeper into the ground, I don't know. Well, yours just attaches straight to the three-point linkage, so that's probably why it's lifting the front of the tractor off the ground a bit and doing weird shit. Well, I don't know if it is, because that, that weight should be keeping it pretty low. It's a big weight. Yep, 
but we don't know how accurate the physics are in this game. It's a valid point. Was it today you had to go into where you're working, or was it next week? To sign your contract, yeah, to sign your contract or whatever you had to do. Well, I signed it today, but because we actually live in 2019 and not 1819, I was able to do it digitally. Wow. So you didn't even have to go mm. in and do it? Nope. Not in the day and age where printers and email exist. It's just just be a massive waste of petrol. Don't turn my tractor off, I want it to fuck you fuck you, farming sim. That's something they need to fix. I'm pretty sure that has to do with multiplayer because it never happens in single player. I don't play enough single player to know. Depends on what you made the uh, map for. Oh, that was a miss. That is clearly not on there. You currently doing some seeding as well, Jeremy? Correct. Well, I guess my farmer gets to take the rest of the day off because he's done all his work. Is that right? Yep. Must be nice to be some then. Sure would. I've still got a little bit to do.
Hey Matthew, welcome to the stream. It's very clean. Thanks. Um, take this weight off. We'll need to put the front end loader back on. And then we've got some fertilizing to do. There you are, Tom. There's a link to my stream if you want. Oh, thanks, Vash. Front end loader. It's there somewhere. Cow should be good. I'm waiting for that price to go up a lot more. Hopefully. Sheep are good. Cows are good. Might throw them a silage bale shortly. After the fertilizing. Park the Johnny in here. There should do that. Can you put crop in the back of a pickup truck? What do you mean crop? Like after you've harvested it? Mm. Pretty sure. It only holds like a ton or something though. I only want a little bit. Either of you guys got a forage? Never got the name. Uh, forage wagon. Loading wagon? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Jeremy does. I do. Can I borrow it, Jeremy? It's just down in my yard. Let's see. I know if he didn't, that Brandon had one, but. Somewhere. And you now have contractor access. Why, oh, thank you. Hey Rush, what are you up to buddy? It has been a while, I haven't been streaming as much though either dude. But it's good to have you in the stream. How have you been? Been staying busy at work. 
Yeah, pretty much staying at work as well. Gotta run, happy farming and Friday. It's nearly Saturday, Sir Hill. What do you mean you gotta run? The only place you'd run to is like the bathroom. I don't know if I could imagine you running. It's 11.30 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, it's actually 8.30 p.m. But have fun with whatever you're doing. I'll talk to you later. I never said you were fat. If that's what you think about yourself, Sahil, then I can't help that. That's a really, that's a really bad mindset to be in. Bye. Oh, God. What are you oh got him? I just tooted the horn on this fucking pickup truck and it's like a bloody Mexican siesta horn. <laughs> Did I you hear it? it? No, I didn't. Oh. I mean, in 5 a.m. for you, Rush? Quite. I only just heard my owner one. Up pretty early then, too. I'm heading up behind you now because I need to pick up that box of eggs, so I'll toot it again. Alright, we need just a little bit more fertiliser, so we'll head down to the other part of the farm, I think. Alright, toot it. Oops. And we'll grab some of there. Oh, yeah, I hear it now. <laughs> that noisy bloody aeroplane. It's a bloody base game track, does I mean, vehicles too. That's probably why. some fertilizer out of the shed here. We don't need a whole lot, probably another couple of hundred litres maybe. I think that should do. I think we only had about 600 for the other paddock and we had some left over so we should be good. You are fucking kidding me. Nope. That's what they decided to do. Not the horn. I'm, I'm not commenting on the horn. Oh. I'm, I'm turning a corner and I thought the AI traffic must have been on with their bright ass purple car and I was about to go and check the settings and then I realised it was you. I didn't think that you'd be driving something that bright. Are you serious? No. I always buy purple I trucks. Know. I'm, I'm not being serious at all. I actually thought AI traffic was on for a second though, and I was thinking that should be turned off. And then I saw your name tag. Mm. Yeah, I looked behind my, my tractor and I was like, okay. Yep, purple, Jeremy. I'm just not used to seeing other people really driving around. Normally it's a ghost town. Yep.
Oh. What are we owing? Went past my corner at about a hundred and fifteen. So you're going too fast. Tried to turn and ended up in a tree. So you're going too fast. No. The map just has corners which aren't You suitable. just said you were doing a hundred and fifteen. I was. <laughs> you don't think that's too fast? No. I've still got to get used to hearing music while I'm playing this. Park up the Massey. She's a beautiful tractor, that one. I do love her. Alright guys, that is going to do it for tonight's stream though. I'll hopefully stream again tomorrow night and maybe during the day tomorrow, but thanks for watching everyone. It's nice seeing some old faces and stuff, and I'll see you all next time.